Yes, guys. So as you can see, guys, we're building a farming community. And if you want to join, it's hit us up and the WhatsApp. If you're actually in the US and anywhere there in the world and you watch Jam Tours videos and you're coming to Kenya and you want to be a part of this group, um, we definitely just link us up on the WhatsApp and we can actually, you know, get you into this group. And, you know, when you come, you know, the farming community is right here for you and all the resources that you need will be right here for you to start and get going in farming family. So, you know, I have a lot of persons who link me up and say, Jam Tours, when I come to Kenya, it's farming I want to do. So I am here for you right now, actually doing the groundwork for you and get you the right information that you need to get into the right type of farming family. This is Anke Roo from Jam Tours Africa. Like, share and comment on the video and let me know your thoughts. My name is Dennis Moredi from uh, Farming Wanda. Mm -hmm. We also have another company by the name Pure Plant Organics. Mm -hmm. For Farming Wanda, we are the innovators of the Wanda Multistory Garden. Which is this This, this, this is a vertical garden. Okay, okay, yeah, nice. We call it the Wanda Multistory Garden. Ah, oh, wow. Whereby we are maximizing the space. Mm -hmm. the space yeah, the yeah. Space, the space that the garden of sits on is a, has a base diameter of four and a half feet. Mm -hmm. uh, and uh, if you do the conventional way, uh, like maybe using the raised beds, mm -hmm. the maximum you could, you could do from you can do from that space is only 16 plants yes yes but now with the multi-story garden we are able to do 120 wow. from the same same space wow yeah. wow wow so you can also do different uh, crops because mm -hmm. we advocate for for companion planting companion mm -hmm. planting is where you you mix different plants mm -hmm. because different plants help they normally help each other in repairing some insects mm -hmm. And I also add um, uh, now uh, the part for pure plant organics. We have uh, we have biostimulants, mm -hmm. which are liquid fertilizers. Mm -hmm. We also have biochar based soil amenders, mm -hmm. which we have used. We use now. We, we normally use on these multi mm -hmm. gardens. They help in adding carbon also into the soil, lowering the soil pH to reduce the soil acidity. Yes, yes. Another thing, it it conserves moisture, mm -hmm. and also the biggest part is that it it mitigates gets cremated by, by by now storing carbon back into the soil. Wow, wow, yeah. wow, wow. So let's say I'm a new farmer and I say I want to start something. And how much for one of this, like uh, the system? Uh, we, we, we have two options. Mm -hmm. We have an option whereby we can sell to you the garden, mm -hmm. give you a manual, ah, okay, form okay. Of a video mm -hmm. that is going to guide you on how to do it yourself. Mm -hmm. the DIY way. Yeah, yeah. Uh, we are selling at 1,500 Kenya shillings. Mm -hmm. And if you do, we want us to install, we charge an extra 500. Okay, yeah. so let's say, you know, as you know, I live in the city, yeah. but I want to have like two of this in my backyard. Yeah. Um, you guys will provide the soil to and stuff. Yeah, we, know, we do provide soil. Mm -hmm. In fact, we provide everything. Everything. And But if you are in a red soil or room soil area, mm -hmm. we normally use the soil. So ah. You don't have to buy soil. Okay, 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 yes. okay, okay, okay. So how long can this soil be in here? Like, how long can it be? Uh, okay. So uh, this garden is going to last you over 10 years. Mm -hmm. So the only thing that we'll be doing is just scooping soil all around on the terraces. Three inches. So you, you, you can just pick soil from here and just put it around yeah you first scoop this one three inches ah. this is where we mix the manure okay the okay 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 yeah yeah, or yeah. organic fertilizer mm -hmm. after after maybe when, when you want to replant mm -hmm. that's when you come scoop mm -hmm. three inches deep mm -hmm. you mix it again with the organic fertilizer and then backfill and continue with the so you don't change the soil no you don't change the soil ah okay okay yeah, it's okay it's going okay. to last for over 10 years wow wow yeah. wow so you guys would provide uh so what what fertilizer you guys provide so we have the biochar based fertilizers mm -hmm. and we also have that one is made of what biochar mm -hmm. biochar is carbonized organic matter ah uh, so we, it's natural yeah it's natural it's organic. okay 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 it's organic yeah, it's okay perfect 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 Thank yes you. yes yes and uh so what are some of the services you guys offer um also, to farmers uh, Extension services. Mm -hmm. We also do irrigation. Mm -hmm. we, we have an irrigation, uh, irrigation system uh, that we normally install. Mm -hmm. We also do soil testing because mm -hmm. uh, we start by we, we want each farmer to start by knowing the his or her soil. Mm -hmm. Yeah. From there, now you are able to know the kind of crops to grow. Mm -hmm. or the, the type of fertilizers to use in your soil. Oh, perfect, you have perfect. 
Mm -hmm. yeah. oh, nice, nice. Yeah, family. So we are with Pure Plant Organic, and if you're into organic farming, you know them is the right person. I'm fascinated by these, and I can't wait to get a few of these. Actually, to have my own, you know, uh, own vegetables and stuff. You know, so thank you so much, and uh, we hope to work together. And I really want to get a few of these. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hi, my name is Derek. I am CEO and managing director Shamba Solutions, where we empower our communities through agriculture. Great. So, what are some of the services you have for David? Like, uh, for a person who is new, I have a lot of persons from Americas, you know, telling me that when I come to, I, I run a, a company called Jam Tours Africa, um, you know, actually help people to actually come back and show them around and show them, you know, things that they can do in Africa when they come. So most people I have want to know more about like farming. Mm -hmm. So what are some of the services you guys offer for farming? So um, one, we provide um, a agronomy package mm -hmm. uh, and uh, for to assist you in uh, you know and guide you through uh, from the beginning of the season to the end of the season. So we do this by faster. We do a rapid soil testing. Uh, um, uh, a, a rapid soil testing service on your farm so we are able to collect the nitrogen, potassium, calcium, uh, pH, uh, phosphorus and electrical conductivity then we do write a report on what should you be actually be planting and or, or, or if you have already made uh, up your mind I would like to plant this particular crop what are the steps that you're supposed to follow and you have an option to have uh, full organic which we mainly recommend or you know uh, guide you on how you can safely use this uh, some of these uh, uh, farm inputs so we'll continue guiding you all through the steps if you have any challenge with the pesticide any challenge it just become your holding hands all the way into the, uh, the final step so we also go uh, further uh, a, a, a further step to connect you to other platforms which will help you to uptake your produce perfect perfect so um what are some of the, like the, the, the maybe the farmers that you work with here in kenya like people so we, we are currently we are working with about six thousand farmers uh, mainly in muranga kiambu nairobi machakos kajiado and nakuru and nyandarwa county uh, we also work through agrovets where you can access our, our services uh, to the agrovet uh, near you. We also work through cooperatives and farm organizations. So if you have a farm organization, we can offer you a very good package that you know the cost of, uh, of getting the service may be a little bit higher, but an organization gets a very uh, good premiums. Perfect. So, you know, based on your guys' experience, um, you know, and different counties which county would you say have the best soil so uh basically is uh, the next question be for what crop because okay, okay, okay. Um, how i see it it's that the biggest limit of what you can plant is actually the climate the climate in itself whether is it hot or cold mm -hmm. but all the other factors you can actually you know work on so uh or, or maybe in some special cases like rice which would actually require um uh, kind of uh, uh, a paddy place, mm -hmm. so, but um, most of the plants are actually uh, can adapt uh, given the right nutrients. Ah, uh, okay, okay perfect, perfect. So with the land, wherever it is, especially if you are willing to invest in uh, you know uh, irrigation for agriculture, you're good. Wow, I am interested in like fruits, like grapes. Uh, I noticed that a lot of fruits now, like the grapes, don't have any seeds in it. So I was interested in actually you know planting some grapes some strawberries and some fruits with seeds um you know which climate would be best for that or which county in kenya would be best for that so well um the, the hotter for fruits the hotter counties are very come yeah uh, they actually produce the best fr fruits and ah. it's because uh the hot environment promotes uh now formation of sucrose in the fruits that's ah, why okay. you find that uh, maybe I'll give an example. Mangoes from um, from Machakos County tend to be slightly. Yeah, sweeter. I heard my wife say that. Like <laughs> mangoes, I heard somebody say that. Like 
mangoes from my chart, my cart, my, that's, my that's Cumberland, right? Yes, Cumberland. Mm, yeah, yes, it's very, it's very sweet. It's very sweet. Um, it's because of, you know, the, the, the uh, it's slightly hotter, mm -hmm. so uh, it promotes the more faster maturity and more sugar formation in the fruit. For example, also look at uh, sugarcane. Mm -hmm. Sugarcane at the coast because it has, uh, the, the, it tends to be very sweet, mm -hmm. uh, very sweet uh, compared to a sugarcane that you have planted um, in um, just in an area where it's very cold. Oh, so okay. um, sugarcane planted in Narumoro, Nanyuki region mm -hmm. will be very, very much sweet compared to uh, um, sugarcane in Kembo country. However, that does not mean you cannot uh, not actually grow that particular area. Okay, perfect, perfect. So so for all fruits, you said the other climate is better? Yes. Okay, okay, okay. All right, great, great, great. So where can people find you? Um, you know, if they're interested in a service, they want to go big on farming and you say, I need this service because you need this service because if you don't use a service like this, you might end up, you know, planting stuff and get nothing from it. Yeah. So, yeah. um, <clears throat> one is to encourage people, uh, seek agronomy services. It's very, very important. Um, it's just actually as a guiding hand to make sure that uh, you make uh, less mistakes during this journey. Mm -hmm. You can always find us uh, on our website www.ysmtsl.com or in all other social media platforms at Shamba Solutions on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. Shamba Solutions. Thank you very much. Yeah, family. So, you know, that is it. And as I was saying to you guys, if you need, if you're coming into Kenya, and you're gonna look into farming in a big way, then uh, Shamba Solution is the company uh, for you, family. So thank you so much, my brother. Thank you. And we hope, you know, I will bring a few clients to you yes. because uh, most of my people they want to be in farming, yeah. and you know, and you know, farming is not just something you get up and plant something in the ground like that. Yes. You have to have a lot of process mm -hmm. and a lot of, you know, for you to get the nutrients from whatever you're planting. Yes. You need this service, family. So. We'll talk, my brother. Thank you. One love. Much. Job bless. We we'll talk, yes. <laughs> yeah, family. So, you know, pure plant provide us with some fertilizer. Mm -hmm. and, and what do you use this to do now? Like, you, you just, or, you, or you use it? It's a soil amender. Mm -hmm. it, uh, we use it to amend the soil. Okay, okay. We find that, that our soils are have degraded because mm -hmm. of using more of the synthetic fertilizers. Yes. And now we want, it, it helps in aerating the soil, mm -hmm. whereby your soil does not harden. Mm -hmm. Harden as, as the way it, ha it gets a hard pan after using more of the synthetic fertilizers. Mm -hmm. also helps in uh, 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 lowering the soil acidity, mm -hmm. raising the soil pH. Yes. And another thing, it holds moisture mm -hmm. for a very long time. And fastens the growth of the plants. Wow, wow! So, what 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 is this made of? It's biota. Biota. Yeah. Like, like uh, compost waste. So no. a, we have carbonized organic waste. Ah, and okay. Also charged with charged with uh, added uh, macronutrients. Perfect. So you guys have a machine to do that? Yes. Oh wow! So where is your where is your where is your office? Yeah. Like, if I want to yeah. come and look at how you do the processing and stuff. Yeah, around Kenya, mm -hmm. around the road, the zip fourteen, mm -hmm. Kenya road. All right, perfect, perfect. In English, please. <laughs> so you take, for, for example, if you're going to make bio chart of this, yeah. okay? So because it's going to end up coming out black, yeah. you're just going to chum it selectively. You burn about. it without oxygen. Okay. Ah, okay, okay, okay. Um, you see, big words. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> we use a process that we call pyrolysis. Oh wow. Where we burn without oxygen. Oh wow. Yeah. Alright family, so as you can see, it's here. The farm. And the yeah. man. Yeah. I'm from Jamaica. Yes. <laughs> Alright family, so we're gonna go. We actually live in the farm now. You know what I mean? And as you can see guys, you know, when you come to Kenya into farming, link up with us. Um, you know, get in touch with the system. I, now I need some sauce. So what's up? <laughs> yes. Uh, pomegranate. What do you call it? Pomegranate. Pomegranate. Yeah, pomegranate. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Real, nice one. Real nice one. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so if you have some. No. Yes, yes. Yeah. All right, family. And, uh, the, the, the custard apple. The custard apple, yeah, yeah, yeah. We have some nice custard apple in Jamaica. Yes. When you eat custard apple in Jamaica, it tastes like ice cream. What about the other one? Yellow flower. What do you call it? Yellow flower. The aki, 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 yeah, yeah. That's the national. 
Yes, it can grow here, but uh, I haven't seen it. I haven't seen it here. <laughs> we, we have it in Ghana. Mm -hmm. About last week, it was actually grown by um, herbalists in mm -hmm. Jamaica. Mm -hmm. it's, um, it's, it's a long leaf, and I think you've seen it. Yeah. I'm also yeah. going to Nakia. Okay. All right, fam. Yeah, 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 yeah. All right, family. Like, yeah. Oh, thank you. Hey, guys, let's say thank you for to the designer for coming. Mega. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Yes. Yeah, uh, he just got his second one. Ah, oh, yeah, thank, you. <laughs> thank you, thank you, thank you, guys. Amesh, what is it? He's called Amesh Boro. Yeah. No, Amesh Gitonga, and then Jamesh Mboro. Ah. <laughs> Jam How did you get a Boro name? Well, it's my wife who actually, you know, she wore a name with meaning, so she, she actually <laughs> looking for the Kikuyu name with meaning, oh, okay. and she just named, <laughs> used that name. Yeah, all right, family. The team is here, and we are out.